are you lost or just tired? Who are you looking for? La signora Spagnamiglio. Behind you, it's number 14. Grazie. Tell me what it's about, huh? I mean, is she expecting you? Look to your own affair, signora. Oh, uh, and you look to yours. You better watch yourself. You'll end up without shoes. <laughs> now, who could have taken that nice valise? Be all right, signor. When you know, just say Nicola Bellizzi expected at la casa della signora Sconiamini. Va bene? Va bene. If your valise is worth a pizza, I'll wager you it's gone for good. Yeah. Why not? Order the pizza if you want to. Then we'll see what happens. Eh? You make a big pizza like he told you. I want it with tomato and some salt. Eh? It's Nicola Berizzi. Avvocato Bianchi sent me. Yes, he mentioned you. Buongiorno, signora. Buongiorno. He said you might have a room. Did he mention the price? Si, signora. The price is fine. Mm. It's just that... I must be paid in advance. Two weeks deposit. Don't worry, Signor. I quite understand. About such things, one must be very strict. Huh. I'll show you the room. This way. No, no, this one. This one here. How soon do you have to have it? Immediately. You mean you need it today? Oh, no, you have no baggage, though. Well, it'll be here soon. Yeah. Grazie. There are my things. I'll find out. You know the leads live here? Maybe. Come in, but don't touch nothing, capito? Put it there. Listen, I'd like to explain. None of my boys knows you, and my memory isn't the best. And every time they mention you, you're always referred to as someone the older boys call Coppola Rossa. But we didn't know that you were him. What's your name? Pasqualino Scalzo. Pasqualino. When you're born in the gutter, you don't notice the smell. And most of us stay there. I don't want to. The one who wore this exists no longer. You understand after years in prison that the word compassion is as empty as the word justice. I didn't know that at your age. And you are like me, aren't you? Not then. Oh, I took a bet on a pizza, and it seems I won. Find the loser. Let's pretend he won. Hmm? That one loses every time. It's Raffaele. He's always betting something. All the boys here like to tease him, and we make bets worth a fortune, but none of us could pay for an apple. La, 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 la. I wish I wasn't so hasty. I just don't feel right about it. Well, Mama, then ask him to leave. You gave him my best room. Because that will bring more money. How else can we afford your epic diet? It's the best solution, only I can't say I like it. Just go by that room, much less go in. I'll swat your face so hard it'll send you up to heaven. Ma, please, I wouldn't know him if I saw uh, him. But if he's a bachelor, I want to see him. <coughs> Obviously, he's really worth a look. Pizza here for everybody, it's good. Take all you want. Pizza, pizza, freeze the air. Fresh baked pizza, all you can eat. <laughs> Don't cost anything, free for everybody. Pizza, pizza for everybody, grab a hunk. Eat it, eat it all. I want a piece. Where? 
Gaida and a grazia sign. Our lofty royal highness and friend is now awake. We can begin the day and say anything I like. We can begin to laugh and make noise without fear. And who is he? Why is that piece of shit so special? Why? Hey, I need some sherry, the tequila. Maybe you didn't hear me. Hey! How can I shave your face if you move? But I never move, Miss Angela. Yes, Signora, she saw you move. I saw him, I saw him. He moved, he moved. I didn't move. You moved. Fascia collo. The red one this morning. The blood red. Don Gaetan, put this one on today. It's much more simpatico. Ah, you think this one's the best, eh? See how good it goes with your vest. How handsome you are, Don Gaetan. I promised to tell you, Gigino Carignone is waiting for you. Ah, do I spit in the left or the right? The right. We figured the precise amount. 122 you owe him in the left eye and 118 in the right. This morning? I prefer to make no decision. No? It'll have spontaneity. Ah, see? There. May San Gennaro grant you his protection today. Buongiorno, Don Gaetano. Buongiorno, Don Ah, buongiorno. At your disposal. I stand and await justice. Don Gaeta, can't my penalty be reduced? Only 10% of what's left, I mean. Please, Don Gaeta. No. But why? Gigi. Remember what they call me? Don Gaeta. Look, look how big he is. Bergicilla. Ciao, ciao. Grazie. I know they call you heart of iron. And you know what they call you after you spied for your friend Delegado Ayosa. Carogna, see. Si. But I've been punished too long, Don Gaeta, for what I did. And it's not fair to me. You expect Gaetano, heart of iron, to reduce 10% of the penalty imposed upon an infamous snake. See. Si. Please, Don Gaeta. Everyone's convinced I'm a traitor. They think Each I'm... Each man should have his trade and you have one. That's Don't important. Look. 
Three, six, one, eight. Four. Porca puttana. Go ahead. Six, four, eight, five. Three, four, three, three, nine, two, nine, three. Five, five, five. Seven, seven, three, seven four, six, four, zero, five, three, seven, five, nine, five. He keeps on winning. There is someone playing Mora without your permission. We don't know who it is. Hello. Salutamo, Donna Maria. Ah, buongiorno, Don Guetta. Buongiorno. Una bella cozza per Don Gaetano, Maria. They're very fresh. The boat just came in now. Oh, how I like you just want lemon on it? See, put some lemon on it, just a little bit. And to you, lemon. my friend. You want some more? Uh, get him the large ones and serve them on a plate. Give him some this one. No. Try it. No, please, that's all. So, buona. Grazie, grazie. Buona, buona. Buongiorno, Buongiorno Don Guetta. Five, eight, four, eight, three, three, eight, seven, four. Eight. Buongiorno, Don Guetta. Buongiorno, Don Guetta. I'll take you out, if I may. Va bene, let's go. But let's make it worth our while. One lira. Is that a proposal or a command? A proposal, not a command. I'm not a man to impose anything. Va bene. For one lira, why not? Ready. Six. Four. Six, five, six, four, seven, four, one, four, nine, two, six, two, eight, Hello, my leader. Here, you can eat from my if you're careful. I'm not offended. And if you're no hungry, then you're lucky. Well, you, take your friends to the Trattoria La Scala. There's enough to buy everybody a meal. I mention the name Nicola Bellizzi. Ah, you go. I'm not going that far. When you're ready, I'll be waiting. It ought to be soon. Wait, why you? Two times already, I told you. I meant it. Now you get out of here. Go on. Ah. You want me to call the police, huh? You know what they'll do to you? Idiot. Stupid I'm talking to you. You know what they'll do? Vince, don't do that. No, don't, Luigi. This was impossible. Let him alone. Bring two spumoni. Signora. Guayo, here. Now go on. Nah, bye. Louise, when he shows up, so help me, I'll cut off his asshole. He does it every day. I don't like it at all, and he knows I don't. Caetano's been good to you. I wouldn't complain. I'm not choosy. Yet I'm unlucky with men. Louise, learn to use that female charm that you've got up in front. To attract a man, you've got to do by those little looks. It's physical, not mental. 
You make a man think of the Immaculate Conception. No wonder they stay away. Bastard. He's 14 minutes late. That's long enough. Let's go home. Where are you going? As a matter of fact, home. You should have been here long ago. Stay calm, you You just turn around and take a seat over there. Closely. It's someone who has caused us trouble before. Do I know this someone? See, it's Carluccio. He offers a higher price. It isn't fair. Look to your right. Someone is looking at you. That is exciting. Somebody said. Yes, Not at all your type. You'd never be able to get him. Why? I wonder if he likes poetry. I know. The bakers are waiting for the flower. I'll tell them that. Buongiorno. Scusa. Only a minute. Course. Prego. What's it about? Forgive me, Don Gaetano. My daughter Maria and a young man. I told Maria, I don't like this student. He keeps on going to see him. If I got your permission, you know, I raise her across his face and he'd respect my feelings. And if I say no? I'm dishonored, Don Gaetano. I'd have to kill myself. No, no. You're too young for that. You're a fine man, worth. Go on, go ahead. You're the razor, go ahead. Grazie. But, a lie. Si, sí, grazie. I'm going to have only order here. Now don't worry, yeah? Don Gaetano. Grazie. Sada buon. Grazie, Don Gaetano. Grazie. Sorry to do this. I'll wait in the carriage. Hey. You can meet him. Right now, don't interfere.
cover, please. I don't like prison food that much, and I don't think you do either. <clears throat> oh, they most offended. You must accept a glass of lemonade. But it's my turn to offer. Oh, my friend, I'm clearly indebted to you, Stanback. It's the least you can do. Because if you were to refuse me the honor, I'd be very offended. Yeah, unarmed, I see. As I expected. You hear something just then? No. I heard. I was speaking to you. Oh, scusa. But when it's a little voice like yours, I'm awfully hard of hearing. Then listen good, for there is something you should know. Our eyes are watching you, my friend, every day. You get eye strain looking and laughing. What you see and what you think you see will easily get confused. Friends, I suppose. Just friends. I know what you mean now. Oh, you get confused, all right. Raise your hands. Come on. I'm an arm. Never mind. We'll see. You'll be gentle to my balls today, won't you? You must come back when they're feeling better. But I did abuse them last night. <clears throat> you should be careful. But why? The chair is hot-blooded. Well, that's not a surprise. But then she's listed as a common prostitute. And you are listed as common vermin. Any lower than a pimp is. I saved your life. Do you know that? He was out to kill you, this man, understand? One word from you, and he'll rot in prison for years. I thought we already told you. You've made a mistake. I thought it was a friend of mine. A very old friend. You'll soon find out you made a bad friend. By then, I know it'll be too late. Ah, well, the play's over then, I guess. What a bore. Very bad, both actors. Next time. Why'd you do it? Instinct. Besides, I didn't like his smell. Get in. Come on. I think I ought to warn you. My territory runs from the Ferrovia to the Sanita, and Foria to the Miracoli. In this part of Napoli reigns the heart of iron. With my permission, you can do just about anything. I run things according to the old rules. Been that way for hundreds of years. Can't change it. Stays the same till you die. And death is only one step ahead of all of us. From morning till night time. Yes, I know. It's not very hard to die here, only to live here. You might do all right. I'm not too good at gambling, but at least I haven't gone hungry. That's already something. Not enough. Mind accepting some friendly advice? No, not from you. <laughs> one lira's pointless. The cards, the dice, mora. If you're going to play, make it worth your while. You know, risk 20 lira, nothing. I wish I could. It's by no means easy. I don't see that in a month. <laughs> <laughs> No, gently, gently. Try again. Here. Otherwise, if you can't, you have nothing to say. 
Look at the little one. He could also learn to read at his age. And the big one, he's no fool. Wait, Salvador! Keep him on the move! That's right! Play up here. Play with this a while. Don't touch them. Straccione. They pay you money, don't they? You teach them to die, too? <laughs> Scusate, Don Gaeta. Scusate. Ecco. He's a friend. He merits respect. But I forgive you because you're also my friend. So gavanuta so tasta murata. So gavanuta kuno rossa sdegna. Fremma rinorge mia che non suonare, fammi una carità, ferma panora, un'ora sola. E sono, e sono, e va la diana dell'amore, e ferma non suonare, canta lì mia passione. E mentre io così a me non stava a dire, a me passa in un stegno e me nasce t'amore. Sleep upstairs. Don't make any noise. Or they'll throw us both out on the street. Go to bed. Go on. Go to sleep. On the floor, no? No. You read those things? Yes, I read these things. Now go to sleep. But. This court will now hear Avvocato Nicola Bellizzi present his case for the defense. Who is it? It's Nanina, the daughter of Signora Scognamiglio. Excuse me for disturbing you at this hour, but I must see you. Un momento. I'm not quite dressed. Hey! Uh, Under the bed, quick. Uh, Huh. 
May I come inside? Please do. You needn't worry. Mom always sleeps soundly. You're wondering why I knocked, aren't you? Yes, I'm wondering, but uh, I don't think I mind. You've been here two whole weeks, but I still don't know you. You have to have a voice in the face, no? That's true. You could have been old, I thought. Homely. Or young and handsome. Well, now that you've seen me, what's your opinion? You're not too awful. You look pleasant, but handsome, no. <laughs> wait, wait. I haven't time to play games. Who's that? I thought it was you who started to play. If you've any notions about courting me, you can. But a man respects his own girl, so I'm expecting you will. You better be charming and cultured, or you're wasting time. Are you wealthy? Do you have a position? The point is, I need to know everything. How much you're earning, who are your friends, even those books you read. And what about those red blotches on your shirt? Blood. <laughs> Don't worry. No one shed a drop of blood tonight because of me. I saved the life of a man. How do I know? Yeah. Vai, vai, vai. No, you stay there. At your service, Don Greta. Those wagons, I don't think belong to Don Rafael. Am I mistaken? I don't understand. Carluccio told me they belong to Don Rafael. What can I do? I know what I'd do. Have them unload each sack of flour. And immediately. Four men can handle it. And you load. The wagon's there of Don Rafael. Abo? Don Gaeta, I'm here to serve you. And to obey you. But if I didn't know it was to go to Raffaele, then it's very unfair. Carluccio lied. I'm not responsible. I didn't know. I'm only supposed to know. I understand, my friend. I understand. Well, well Salutam, don't get that. To what do we owe this honor? You owe that to me. If you want to be exact, you do me the honor, because you're a guest here. Alla salute vostra. No, oh, I forgot. You want some wine? I don't believe you deny me, would you, this pleasure? If a friend refuses to drink with you, he offends you, no? Therefore, you offend me. Except it's not my intention to offend a friend. Then enjoy, my friend, what I offer you. Don Carlo, when you have finished with that, unload those sacks because they are not yours, and reload them on the wagons over there. Do it fast. Wait, Caronia! Turn around and face me, you puffed up pimp! If you don't like my wine, then taste my whip! Don't get there, you can leave this bastard to us. It's time that somebody taught him a lesson. Oh,
Now, please. No more. Please. I'll have them load the flower. Right away. Grazie. But don't interfere, you'll be sorry. Load the wagons. It started. Andiamo. My aunt taught me how to make bandages. She worked for a doctor. I'm trying not to hurt you. If it hurts, you have it too tight. Look at it, you can't breathe at all. Baba, I'd better do it. Stand up. He's a nice, clean shirt. Gotcha. Here's your jacket, Miko. Ah, see. Grazie, Don Lucia. Ci vediamo, Don Gaeta. Wait, I'll go downstairs with you. Finish playing the hall. And if I don't? Look, this is my home. I do as I like. You won't accept it? Then go. It's that simple, Capito. What's that? What did you say? I'll do what I want in my own place. Don't ask me to repeat that for you. Oh, I think you forgot that I pay your rent, buy your clothes. I give you everything. You can't afford to swing your skirts, not you. I'm paid like a whore, I know. Well, pay me nothing if you like. Just get out. I won't hurt you. I ah, please. Hi, nice. I'm sorry. I have Let's time. do something. My room is near. Come on. I saw five men waiting in the courtyard. I think they were waiting for you. Who are they? I don't know. What are you gonna do? If they're looking for me, sooner or later they'll find me. So I might as well see what they want. What if they want to kill you? Here, a man must take chances just to stay alive. So far, I've been lucky. And take this. And if you lose? I may lose, it doesn't matter. I don't want to kill anyone. And as long as there are men of honor, they won't kill a man who's unarmed.
Go ahead, kill me. Unless you're men of honor. I think you are. Not you. I don't call it honor, not your kind. I know enough not to meddle into things, but then that's my kind of honor. <laughs> Nothing important. And if it is, it shouldn't matter to you in the first place. It is important because Nicole is my fiance. Fiance? Why, what have you done? You want me to die from an attack, a stroke? It's worse than murder. I'm dying. You should be ashamed. Ma, Nicola and me have done nothing at all. And we're not about to. But I. And there's something else oh, you don't should tell know. me. I want to finish fainting. Oh, Mama, Mama, oh, Mama. Why did you faint for me and for you too? Sorry I've stayed away, but I didn't want to be a stone around your neck. They told me what happened to you the other night. It's most important that it doesn't happen again. We're much alike, you know, as a breed of men. You and me. And because you're alone, I've made the decision. Yeah. Me, it was all a nightmare. I meant no disrespect. They knew it. Nico, the rules stay the same. All of us are supposed to respect and honor them. They don't make exceptions here. You need to learn submission. Submission? It's your pride. And pride was the original sin. One of your attackers was murdered. Knifed in the back, no one had a chance to see who did it. You surely don't believe that I... You don't think I did it? I swear I wasn't armed. They still plan to put the blame on you. But we know better. You used your head. And that was wise. to show his loyalty. In exchange for that, he'll have friends that care. But you can't buy... You can buy anything, Nico. You'll be dead on your own. It's a small price if you want to live. But why? Because it's now, Bully. And even the simple and poor look for a page. Now it's time. Come on. Where are you taking me?
the center's called the Prince. You Earth know much about him. Those are two don't say. But you turn your head in half of it. And he knows all about you. You all know that truth is spoken here, and every single word you hear is sealed within these walls. He who breaks this rule must die. I'm going to talk about Gaetano Fungilla, known as Heart of Iron, who has proven his loyalty. He now comes to us in humility and begs our indulgence for the grave risk he took in forming a friendship with someone outside, a young man with neither profession nor family. <coughs> this man now presents himself to our honored society and ask us to admit him. Our information about him is good. He's a guapo to be respected. But should he dishonor us, the blood of Gaetano Hardobaran is forfeit. To that he has fought. Come forward. Repeat what I say, only what I say. What is your desire? My desire is to belong to your society. Desire is to belong to your society. And what will you offer its members in exchange? In exchange, I will offer to serve them with loyalty. In exchange, I will offer to serve them with loyalty. To be in the Camorra is to live with honor. To be in the Camorra is to live with honor. I will use a soft tongue and a sharp blade. I will use a soft tongue and a sharp blade. What does that mean? Gentle words to persuade and a razor to avenge the wounds of justice and infamy. I bow to do my best. Now, kiss the right hand of your cap in taste, and both hands of the Prince. First me. in flesh and blood till your death, friend and brother to us, dedicated in service to honor. The Ipsy. It's too old. I told you. What's a man of 70 doing in a green velvet suit? Ah!
my husband for you. He wants to open a cantina. Don Gaetano. I mean, would you speak to him? Of course, I'd be glad to, only I can't, because I know if I do, I get a broken head. I don't discuss anything like that with you. I'm sorry. Donna Lucia. Buongiorno. I don't think I want to talk to you. Last time was enough. You should have seen the beating I got. Because of me? What do you mean? Surely your memory isn't that poor. Or else you're very stupid. He's jealous of you. Gaetano? You're joking. Yeah, that's right. Donna Lucia, with all due respect for me, you don't exist bella basta, bella. Not to offend you. If you were standing there naked, I know I'd be affected as much as if you had remained clothed. You said that to me? Well, I wouldn't spit on you. Arrogant, conceited fool. Bella basta, bella basta. That's enough for now. Go away. Go on. Don Gaetano, how are you? Ready to serve you, of course. You've only to say. I managed to learn today, through an acquaintance, that Don Patiel will open up a cantina. A cantina. We find that news upsetting. He will open the cantina nearby the Miracoli. Did you know of this or not? I didn't know. Well, it's information that you should have known and given to me, not I to you. Yes, Nat, you're quite right. If a clown suddenly chooses to sell wine, the other wine merchants will suffer. They cannot become clowns. We need no more clowns, and we have enough cantinas. Let him amuse us just as he is, plain and simple. Tell him that. Don't disappoint me. You needn't worry about it. You will be certain of my honor and respect for you. Yatte, 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 my wife, the taste of the wife, yatte, tatta, ta. Battalion! People should know where it is they've got to go. Attention! I got a tune, or a candy macaroon, or castor oil, or oil and clove, honest cheeses, provolone, naricotta, mascarpone, mozzarella, lobster is a fresca, dalla Sardegna! A taste sublime in every drop of wine. When they don't mix well, I got aspirin to sell. A marzala, a marzaletta. Candy for every bella bambina. Who oh, will we set your tables up under the moon so you can see its bright light? Attention, battalion. Now we're going to show all these people where they should go. Dirava, march.
except for this, all the bubbles and fizz are old. Looks like fizz! But it tastes good, yes. <laughs> ah, see, don't start to complain. Everybody's welcome except you. It'll kill him. Ah, I don't like that song. <laughs> Drink the water. Let it flow. When it tickles, let it go. <laughs> don't get it off. It's only one. looking for me? Si. Who? Donna Lucia. She's been looking for you all day. Lucia? She's not here. Where did she go then? I don't know. If you don't know now, you will after a minute's thought. I don't know where she's gone. She didn't say. Where? Tell me, Luisella. She was out on her own all last night, wasn't she? <sighs> she could have gone to look for you at Nicola Bellizzi. Where does he live? Tell me. Vicro della Salute. I don't know the number. But the name is Cognomiglio. You're not lying to me. Of course not, Dogaeta. Now, Bluebird told me that while he was flying, he passed over a square in the Miracle. He swears that Pazzariello was knifed to death by orders of the Camorra. And he saw the man that did it. Do you know whose it is? No. Hmm. I can tell you. It belonged to Gaetano Fungilo, Heart of Iron. It was still stuck in the corpse as if he challenged us to find it. I'm sure you know it, don't you? You're answering for me now. It's up to you. Only if he's betrayed, a murderer like this ever gets caught. And there are times when an act of betrayal can actually save him. I think you know what you're going to have to do for me. If you don't want Gaetano to go to prison, look upon it as a sacrifice. You do it for a fine cause. Why lose a noble opportunity? Thank you. 
place, where is he? I only wanted to close them a second. I'm a bit surprised you never mentioned your starting law. Why didn't you? Because... a student is something to make fun of. A fool who deludes himself, thinking he's going to change his life. Do you think that you can change yours? See, that's the reason I came here, where I have a quiet room to study. Each time I settled someplace, I was forced to leave, because I was a student, and they were offended by it. The years. God, when I think of all the time I've wasted. You ought to study law, with your stomach gnawing, no light to read, and of course, no work to earn some money. Study in secret, like someone ashamed of what he's doing. And although I'm hated, accused of betraying one's own kind. I don't know how to say it, but there's something deep inside you that's very special to me, Nico. Something's happened, hasn't it? No, no, nothing. Nothing important. Don't forget this. When you need anything at all, you come to me. You're going to become a lawyer. I don't care what the cost. I'll make so. Grazie, Don Gaetano, but... You see, I must be thoroughly qualified. A law degree is earned. I'm afraid I've got to learn a great deal more. Nicole, you get some sleep. We'll talk tomorrow. No, no not tomorrow. You'd better just study. I'll handle the rest of it. Why not? You hurt your hand.
not this time. You've got to trust a woman if she means something. You filthy slut. My God, no. I... I did nothing. I swear on the Madonna of Pompeii. Who was the man? Tell me! No! What have they done to you? Hold me, hold me. If you hurt me, I don't mind. Squeeze me tight. No, no! No, no, wait. Don't leave me alone, please. Please don't. I think he's too smart to show his face. It's worth a bet. Let's say a baba with whipped cream. Or a spaghetti. Hmm. As long as you're betting, let's make a tanish for you, or nothing. What's wrong with just going mm. and arresting? <clears throat> What's wrong is your brain. A guapo is a mystery to you. You got all the brains, eh? Huh? I'm a guapo myself. I know how they think. You come. I know. I'll put them away for attempted murder, and every one of you here will be witnesses. Hey, a sweep, huh? I suppose he kills you. Hmm. Nothing else will be the satisfaction of seeing Gaetano in jail for the rest of his life. Commissario Pazzo, you want to risk your life for a satisfaction you won't need to enjoy. Oh. Oh, you're a fortune teller, too. Ayasa! Go on, shoot. One bang, and it's all over. in irons, chained like a dog forever! Put him in there where I told you. Where I had the whore. I think he'll like lying in the room where I fucked her. Where he can enjoy the stench of his trumpet. I'll kill you! I'll kill you! In Napoli, Today, the 14th of September, 1891, I declare you, Nicola Bellizzi, of unknown parents, doctor-in-law. We wish you our very best, colleague. Thank you for your kindness, Signore. Hello, Signor Avocado. Why don't you let me take your book? See. Si. It's me, Nico. Pasqualino. In the name of all your friends, we ask you to accept this modest gift. Is this a joke? My uncle Luigino Scarabone is in jail for theft. He'd like it if you would defend him. Pasquale, you're someone I hope I never have to defend. Grazie, Avoga. Only you know me. I'll probably still end in jail. <laughs> Ciao. My first client. Bravo. Only last to first you have to win each time. Yeah. 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Well, I'm listening. The names I want. I'll make you talk. His mouth is dry. Yes. His tongue is stuck. Drink. He'll drink. Drink. Drink, Spatsim. Drink. All right. Just say the names. Tell me. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you who killed Spazzariello. Huh? If, if you what? get on your knees in front of me, nude. What? So I can shit on you. <coughs> <coughs> Keep it up. Go on. Oh, that one tells me nothing. So you'll have to. No, I shouldn't. If I tell you, just then say I the find name. Out about it. You know. Uh, uh -huh. But I'm not involved. Just yes. the same. I mean, well, if you want. Court calls upon Avvocato Nicola Bellizzi to present a defense now. Good luck, Avvocato. Donna Lucia, I'm still in debt to Gaetano. He's supposed to spit in my face. The assistant Gaetano is still in jail. Get out of my cell. Well, there are still 240 spits before I fail. You could do it for him. Please, Donna Lucia. Don Lucia, spit in my face. God, tenne, Caragno. You'll wait till Gaetano comes out. How do you know he's getting out, Donna Lucia? I need somebody to pay. Pray he gets out, then. And so, I ask you for justice, not a vendetta. For a vendetta is the result of justice that has failed. Ideally, justice is always balanced, and its symbol is a scale. But in the streets, the symbol of justice is another. To a guapo, it is this hat. I'll tell you why. This coppola is given to a young boy if he's very good with a razor. It means he has earned it as a medal. It's a symbol proving he is deadly. I wear it no more. I abandoned it for a cause that led me here. Surely denying Luigi Scaraponi your pity and understanding would be cruel, because he should be judged with tender compassion. And I hope and pray that all here today will live in this city with harmony, security, and pride, in which justice is still our noblest ideal, always a living and true one. Thank you for giving me your attention. The court shall now retire for its deliberation. Avocat. Outside. Yeah. Come on, let's go. You deliver that speech good and proper. It's not going to mean nothing. 
But the ones that belong in prison are those wax-faced devils there. They'd see me starve! All right, calm down, calm down. Signora, you'll have Leave me alone. Let her stay, she's with me. Avocado. Donna Lucia, what are you doing here? I'm giving this message to you for Gaetano. Take it for him. Yes, I will. Uh, excuse me, I have another case. I'll see you after. They're gonna set him free, Avoga? No, eh? Or Kabutano. Let's find something to steal. Come on. Wait, Nani. Were you in there? No. I was afraid to. I'm gonna meet you later. You don't want to hear the sentence? Because I might just pass out. If you lost. Avocado. Congratulations. That was managed beautifully. Nevertheless, I know he's going to lose. Very likely. But I was much moved by what you said in defending him. Things that I heard very seldom. Bravo. Yes and no. It depends on how the judge sees the case. Avocato Bellizzi. How hey. are you? I'm fine. Nani, this is Signor De Santis. Yes, signorina. He's a journalist who's writing a series of articles on our city's crime. They are scandalous. I've read every one of them. Most intelligent, most enlightening. You lose friends in this city, I'm sure. Avocato. Come, you will see something you can only see in this city. So what should I write in my article? Anything but the truth. Huh. I feel out of place here. Why did we come? Because I got us invited. How did you do it? I went to school with my favorite daughter. What's the matter with you this morning? Yeah. So restless. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. 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 Fabio! Avanti! Come on! Come on! That vicious beast is mine. Orestes is me. It cost me a fortune to feed him. what you've got hidden in your coat. Come on. I've got nothing. What's in there? You oh, stupid fool. You want to kill him with this? Can't you fight honorably with an animal? Wait, Nico. Nico, wait. Hey. Nico. Nico! You act like a quack. You're rude to them. Yes, signore. To the most important people in Napoli. Are you an avocado or a common bully? Nani, take me as I am or else not at all. I will take you as you are, Nico. I'm just ambitious for you. Never mind those people. We don't need them. Don Antonio. Don Antonio. I heard about the arrests, but I never thought I'd have the nerve to put you in here.
Please take my punt. It'll be fresher than the Moya. No, signore. I'm grateful to you, but I mustn't take your place. This bed is all right for me. You others, Cicillo, on the end. Pepe, Giovanni, on the other side of the room. Do you realize we've been treated as criminals? To be arrested and jailed, shut up in a dungeon, made to endure such infamy. Men who are innocent, from families of honor. We know that this offense must be punished. Who shall actually avenge us? I haven't decided yet. But the name of the offender is known to all of us here. Gigino Carognon. You have behaved honorably. Lucci is most proud. She doesn't exist for me. She's dead. No more than a memory. Ah, uh, Nicola. He's a very good lawyer. Maybe he should handle your defense. I know he wants to defend you, as you probably know. But the responsibility is yours, and you know why. Because you answer for what he does, remember? Don Antonio, save for me the death of Ayosa is mine. No, we have decided. Let me take care of it. You will obey us? And you will have done your duty. He must answer to all of us, not you alone. And I also must die dishonored. But not right away. You know why I had you come? Yes and no. I guess it's about Gaetano. Can you help him? I'm sorry you had to come here, but it was for a very vital reason. Because it's in your hands now. The outlook, favorable or unfavorable, at this point, is up to you. It's in your hands, not mine. You understand? No. We need to have your testimony to absolve Gaetano. I'd have to take the stand and tell him everything you're saying. Are you willing? Who asked you, Gaetano? No. I'm sure he doesn't want you to take the stand. That's evident now. But I also is saying Gaetano was ordered to kill him by those of the honored society. That's not true. If that's not true, then you tell him in court. It's for you to speak. And unless you decide to, there isn't a hope. Surely you owe it to him. Yes, I owe it to him, but I can't do it. Because I love him, I say no. Is it love or pride? That's important. It's pride, but not my pride that really matters. If I were to talk about it in court, it would shame him. But if I don't, he'll have only the memory. I'm willing to face it, but the shame would be too much for him. I know it. I would dishonor him by giving testimony. I have no right to. He's a guapo. He's a guapo, I know. But he has a heart, too, Donna Lucia. It's worth risking. Because if you have a man that chooses only honor, then you haven't anything. Please, stop. Shall we go in? I'm ready. Silencio. The court is in session. Bring in the accused. Signor Presidente, we ask the court to call Delegato Ayossa. The court calls Delegato Ayossa. or I'm forced to clear the court. I'll kill that bastard! Keep 
the prisoner quiet. Silencio. You've submitted your deposition. Is there anything that you should add? Si, Eccellenza. I would like to say that, that upon the arrest of these Camoristi, the testimony taken from Luigi Scarpetta, better known as... Uh, Gigino Carugnone. Silenzio, silenzio. Has proved to be very instrumental in our ruthless exposure of certain decisions made inside the Camorra. Eccellenza. I must interrupt the witness and ask the court's indulgence for this, but there is one question I ask. Address it to him. Where is Luigi Scarpetta? Is he in jail or is he not? He's free. Oh, you tell us he's free. He can't belong then to the Camorristi. And since he's not a Camorrista, he can't possibly know decisions made by the so-called Tribunal of the Camorra. If it exists. Grazie. Delegato Ayossa. Address yourself to the President, not me, Perfor. Scusate, Eccellenza. How long is it that you have been with the police? Six years. You will answer the President, I told you. And before you found this, uh, work, uh, scusate, position, what other kind of work were you involved in? Nothing special. And during those earlier years, do you admit to ever having committed any of these crimes? Assault, usury, theft, blackmail, all of these. <laughs> yes, I mean, you've committed every one. Silencio. All of them, Senor President. All you said? You are here to represent the law, defend the law, accusing Gaetano Fungil with your word as testimony? Yes, you can be certain. You see, I decided a long time ago to break a Camorra. It's going to take someone who's just as bad as they are. A Camorrista, surely. I never did join. That doesn't matter. Because they didn't want you. So, it's by pure accident that you didn't come in here as a prisoner. It's by pure accident that I'm still alive. Because Gaetano Fungillo was supposed to kill me by orders of the Camorra. They're not afraid to break our laws. They're afraid of me, though. Every word, every single word. Delegato Ayossa, do you know Lucia Esposito? Mistress to Gaetano Fungillo. I didn't quite hear you. What did you say? Uh, uh, Mistress to Gaetano Fungillo. To the president. When you say something, you're supposed to say it to me. And when is the last time you recall having seen her? Who knows? I said, do you know? No, I don't know. Signor Presidente. Signor Presidente. Lucia Esposito is at present here in this room. I wish to place Lucia Esposito on the stand and let her deposition be confronted with that of the witness. It's a little unusual. Shall we include her testimony at this point or not? I would, Signor Presidente. Article 151 has such a provision. I authorize it then. The name is Lucia Esposito. Lucia Esposito. Si. Are you Lucia Esposito? Si. Repeat after me. I swear that everything I say will be the truth. I swear that everything I say will be the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the do truth. Do you declare it before God? I do. Have you anything to say about the deposition of Delegato Ayosa? Si, Eccellenza. Go ahead, tell us then. The police came one night. They said for me to go to the station. I was told they were looking for information. That true? I thought maybe she'd help us concerning the killing of Vincenzo Pazzariello. For several said it was Gaetano Fungillo, and I was hoping to find out something by questioning her. It was useless, of course. What time was this interview? I don't know. It was around 11. It was after 2. 
He said he had evidence that proved Gaetano was guilty. He knows I'm Gaetano's woman, and I don't care if everyone here knows it. Quiet, please. Silencio. Silencio. Please, Signora, that's no affair of the courts. You shouldn't tell us these things. She should, though. It's our affair, too, Signor Presidente. Also the affair of the court. He offered to destroy the evidence against Gaetano, as long as I would... But I don't understand. If I agreed to let him do what he wanted to. I never touched the Signor Presidente. Do you believe the lies of a slut like that? You filthy scum! Let me not kill you, pig! I'm not ashamed. The most important thing was to save Gaetano, so I said yes. Just stay calm. I can't hear a thing. The witness here is continually being insulted and maligned. Let the accused be arraigned. Wait, what do you want me to say? You get so involved, it's already too much. Excellence, it'd be pointless to trust this woman's testimony. Nobody needs to promise anything to this sow here, whose price is only a lira. But Excellence, this is a court of law, and my oath in this court ought to be valid. To me, at the present moment, one thing alone is certain. That Fungilo tried to kill Delegato Ayosa. Let him take off his shirt. Let him show you where I dug my nails into his back. He won't because I know he doesn't dare to. All right, all right. I'd like you to tell me, if you would, the point of your carnal encounter. Eh? The place where you... It was a cell. And there in the wall of the cell, a man had written. It said... A right to live is a human right. We have a right to live, not to grub like a poor beggar. It's written there for us all, written in dark red. Before I went home, underneath it I wrote that. But it's not true. None of it. Go there and read it. Is there anything else you wish to add? No. No. You may sit down then. Cancellieri? Signor Presidente, this new information can easily be substantiated. First of all, let's examine the entire testimony of Ayosa. We should also let the court invite someone to go and examine the witness's cell as indicated. After this, it'll be clear which one is a perjurer. Delegate Ayosa or Lucia Esposito. Ayosa's version is simple indeed. He claims the accused attempted to kill him by order of the Camorra. He's hoping you'll believe his story. But it's evident that he planned to get Gaetano Fungil whose honor had been offended. tells a tale that's most surprising and most tenable. Why don't you arraign Iosa on charges of perjury? We can get from Gilo anytime. Yes, but until a woman's story is actually verified, I'll look stupid. Ah, but you'll have evidence eventually to justify his arrest. Well, that's true. In the name of His Majesty the King and the people of this land, we of the court declare Giuseppe Ayosa disqualified as a witness and accused of perjury in this court. Guardier, he's under arrest. Why? Take him uh, away. Lord, we'll serve the cause of justice. Quickly, Don't send me to prison. Then kill me. The court will examine the veracity of Lucia Esposito's entire deposition in the trial of Gaetano Fungi. The court is adjourned. Hey, get that. 
Cheer up, we're going to win, huh? Not guilty. When does he get out? No, I'll never kill Lucia. Gaetano will kill her. What for? Because a woman is no woman. After she's touched, I also. It wasn't her fault. And what does that have to do with it? Armando, don't be stupid. She's been contaminated. belongs to you. going home. You! Oh, my God! Oh, what did you do? 
What did you do? Sit down. Sit down. Oh, my God. Mama, look at me. I'm okay. I'm What is it? I don't know. I don't know. Avoca, I'm in your hands now. You wish I wasn't, I know. You've got to make certain they don't get to me. You have no choice. They're trying to kill me. My wife knows I came here so that you'd help me. But I can't. No, no you, you can't send me away. That's why I came here. That's the only reason. You're supposed to give me your protection. I should be put in the hospital and you should get the police. I'm going to call a doctor. God, are you afraid of something? I... Don't worry, I'm a tough old viper. God gave me a lot of blood. I know I deserve that. No, you wait there. He was seen coming in here. Where is he? He's here. He's going to die tonight. Those are the orders, Nicola. No, not here. I'm going to take him to a hospital. No. It's too easy to murder. Why do you do it? I know their law. But here in this room, there's another law. The sacred laws of the street are not those of Nicola Bellici. I forbid you. Saying a prayer for the column Billies. We have heard that Gigino Caronioni enjoys good health. Yes, I've been told that. He's alive for the moment. And who vowed to answer for the column Billies, Corporal Rosa? I alone. Is it we or you that would hesitate to carry out the sentence against Corporal Rosa according to our law? Me. But Nicola Belitz is my friend. He's a guapo honorado. You refused him. See, si. don't anyone attempt to kill him, I tell you now. His fortune falls. Where to, Don Gaeta? Doesn't matter. Shh. I got me to you. Ha, ha! Give 
commit the revolver. I must leave you. I've got to. Don't play jokes on me, Nico. It isn't funny. It's not a joke. I love you very much. You love me, but... Nico, it couldn't be another female because I know you never even thought of it. Do you know why they shot Gatano Fungil? Is it important to you? Is it going to change anything? He was murdered. Because he defended me, they killed him. Because I gave him an order and he defied it. By defending what I wanted. But the thing I tried to prove was useless. I should have done everything alone. But I made the decision of joining the Camorra instead. Don't you see, I'm going to die. Because I disobeyed. Wherever I go, they'd find out. We can't see each other anymore, honey. I want you and I need you. Honey. There isn't anything that can help me, nothing. I don't care. You still belong to me, you're mine. That's what's important. I'm not afraid of the Gomorrah. Oh, please don't leave. All of you, if every man here knows, this is our Napoli. Not the Napoli of Yacaracho or Toledo. But the other Napoli. What other Napoli? I mean, signore, the one we shut our eyes to. The Napoli of Pasquale Scant. Accused of theft. Whose fate? You are asked to decide. But if you could know, it's squalor. That would simplify things. 
If all of you really knew this city, the violence he's used to, the poverty he knows, where children die of hunger, half the population there exists on begging, where it's a habit, it's normal to spend years sleeping in the gutter every night. The filth there is spectacular. But yes, and these gaunt little creatures of six and seven, forced to work 12 hours a day. It isn't mentioned, it isn't protested. Most of them can't even earn two soldi. A man's work and they don't earn two soldi. Naturally, they learn to steal. They live in Annapolis, where like a trade, stealing is taught. Only it's more like an art. Their school. The only one they know. Enter the Camorra. Ever larger. A growing cancer, a plague. Feeding at the very throat of our city. The Camorra. You do nothing about it because you're used to it. And still, you and I are as guilty as anybody. I think it's time that the jury go and see the Napoli that we failed. Our hypocrisy is disgusting. And here you persecute a boy. <coughs> the jury should coldly condemn Pasquale Scouts. You don't gain anything because you push him over into the Camorra easily. In fact, I know. When he gets out of prison, he'll have no choice. You must not find him guilty and permit our blindness to spoil his future the way it has spoiled his past. We're at fault much more than he. He's guilty of a crime, but he's not the one that should pay. The ominous danger for us today has a host of names and faces, but its real name is the Camorra. <laughs> The court shall retire to deliberate the charges. something to tell you. Wait, oui, why are you crying? You'll be a free man soon. You've got no reason to worry. Don't get discouraged, eh? They won't find you guilty. They go. They go to! <laughs>